Good morning. Travelers, where you been? Hey, Thomas. Good morning. Good morning. Type in capital letters, please. Mm-mm, no Mook Mook. I just know somebody named Mook Mook. We lived in a project, baby. It was always somebody named Mook Mook. Good morning. Hey, Georgie Porgy. Thank you, Georgie. Thank you, Nina Wallace, for liking the page. The likes ain't that high, y'all. The likes is low. The likes is low. Mm -mm. Joseph, I have to fight you over this bacon. Mm -mm. Mookie, uh huh. Mook Mook. We call that nigga Mook Mook. His name was Mookie. We call him Mook Mook. Now, I knew a Mookie in New York, too. Mookie in New York was cute, but Mook Mook in the projects? Mm -mm. Fat, funny looking. Mm -mm. Before y'all get on here talking about fat shame, ain't no such thing. Same, same time it takes to put it on, same time it takes to take it off. Shit. Unless you go get it cut off. You can't get it cut on in so you can why you cut on, so why you need it cut off. Uh today is Monday. Today we tape and laugh and learn. At one PM with my partner Lauren Hogan. My weekend was good. Um woke up to great emails this morning. We were re signed for iHeart Black Effect Network for another year with Laugh and Learn. I will be on Tiffany Haddish's show this Friday. Um Friday Night Vibes with her and Dion Cole. So y'all make sure y'all watch that on TBS. And um, oh, what else am I supposed to tell y'all? Oh, oh, something else happened. I can't remember what else it is. Shit, those was the checks. Oh, did you guys see the People Magazine article? My article for People Magazine is out. And they're putting together a town, a town hall for uh, a major network. And uh, yeah, we got a lot coming up. So y'all just be ready. Yeah, it's success. So that's a little insignificance talk. We're just gonna keep it moving forward. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. You know I'm on a mission, baby. Yeah, that's the word. Uh, learning them success. That's what Tiffany Haddish says to say success, and it just keeps coming. Thank you, Jing. Oh, you saw the article, Denise. I also did a, a podcast with them, with People Magazine. I guess it's on their website. It's Halloween week. Y'all got your costumes together? That's right, George Ronchi. Let them know. Keep on walking. I ain't talking to you anymore. Thank you, Vesper. Excited about the new year of Laugh and Learn and the projects that I have coming up. But this Friday, I'll be on TV with Tiffany. So y'all watch it because we was uh, I was both the Tinas. Tina Turner and Tina, Tina Lawson, Beyonce mama. I am passing off candy in my neighborhood. Oh, best you gonna do a Halloween live a DJ and say, okay, great. What kind of music? Oh, you think so, Ashley Basie? That was nice. I'd be one of the world's most influential people. They mad at me right now, I don't know. But that's just right now. Hi, T Mac. Oh, 
Come on, cowboy. Oh, a different mix every hour. Okay, cute Vesper. Y'all gotta make sure y'all follow DJ Vesper X. Because Vesper is a great DJ. And he gonna make, mix it up for y'all for Halloween. I want a little trick and a little treat. Ooh. <laughs> 12 hours of mixing. Oh, no, I'll be asleep after the first two. Uh-huh. Yeah, y'all join us for Laugh and Learn today. So y'all can be part of the conversation because we are talking about Laugh and Learn will be on today at 1. It won't air until Wednesday night. Um, we're talking about the young lady that was molested on the train in Philly and they instead of people helping her, they pulled out their cell phones. We're also talking about the lady who jumped out the window with her two kids. Just, I don't, people are so depressed. People are so depressed. We're also going to be talking about um, them passing this, this law um, for the police. Um, it, it is, yeah. Lauren yeah. knows more about that story. Uh, we're not. We're gonna skirt past Dave Chappelle because I'm tired. Yeah, I'm good on IG now. I'm tired of talking about the whole Dave Chappelle backlash debacle. It's done. It's still up. He's still number one. They not gonna take it down. That's it. Ain't nothing else you can say. Nobody was hurt behind that. The only person who got hurt in that whole situation, may she rest in peace, was Daphne. Uh -huh. They blocked my coffee time yesterday because I was looking at the old black and white movie. And I said the name of it. So they blocked it. one of them people who send me constantly in random inboxes uh, please uh, and I tell you to stop and you don't I'm blocking you that yeah, that's the only warning I heard Detroit was getting a lot of rain. Chicago, too. We supposed to get some rain over here. They got it in Northern California, but we ain't getting none. It just so light. Oh, did it? Mm -hmm. Is it light or heavy? It's light. Oh. We got the light drizzle. Don't we, Timmy? Uh-huh. Hey, Ronnie here. I know her name. Her name is, um, what is her name? Is her name April, the old queen there in Oregon? Because she's like 90, 90 years old. She's still doing drag shows, right? What's her name? Oh, she old, too. Mama's still doing her thing, her gowns. Darcel, okay. And how old is she? She like 90, right? Oh, but I want to be 90 years old, still doing drag shows. I want to be able to, but I don't want to. Yes, you all. So this Friday, I will be on Friday Night Vibes with Tiffany Haddish and Dion Cole. We just signed that deal for the new year for another year of um, Laugh and Learn with the Black Effect Network. Um, I should be in New York next week, hopefully. Keep y'all fingers crossed for the whole week. I can't tell y'all what that's about yet. Mm -hmm. Um... 
Oh, I can't even give y'all a clue, because if I give y'all one clue, y'all gonna know. So I can't tell y'all shit. Dion is a nice guy, though. Ashley Basie. He's a really nice guy. I know him from Chicago. Mm -hmm. He's a nice guy. And he got my he got my truck I want. That nigga got a Rubicon. Orange. Orange. Not orange. Orange. Hmm. Friday Night Vibes is on TBS, I think. I think that's the network, TBS. They were playing Black Panther and something else. They're going to be playing Black Panther. And I'm going to be Tina. So tell me now. Are you ready for me? Mwah. Let me tell you something. This has been a weekend. It was very calming, calm here this weekend, but I looked on YouTube and saw some videos and some, some people making stuff, saying some things. I'm like, ooh, that's cute. It's called Rampage. Oh, it's called Rampage. Is it up already? No, they ain't going to air it till Friday. Okay, it's going to be called Rampage, y'all. It's going to be up on Friday. See, y'all make sure. 7.30 Pacific Standard Time. 7.30 my time, which is 10.30 uh, New York, Eastern Coast. And then 30 Central, Central Stands. Oh, I can't speak this morning. Uh-huh. See, so y'all make sure y'all watch it. Uh -huh. And don't watch some of these panels. So let me tell you something. It's one thing to want to read somebody, but the panel needs to be at least attractive. When the, the, the entire panel is unattractive. Oh, my God. That is That just speaks volumes. <laughs> Huh? What volume? That is, real low. What volume? <laughs> that panel. Oh, that panel was funny looking. I love it though. Keep my name on your lips like I'm keeping this bacon in my mouth. Yes, me should get that. It's on TV, TBS. I'm out of jail. I'm back on IG. I'm out of IG jail. I just ain't been on there. I'm going on there in a minute. Well, I don't know when I'm doing the Love Lounge. Oh, thank you guys for coming out with Fantasia last night. I heard doing a, a last minute number. That was cute. Good morning, sunshine. Thank you, Rebecca. Good morning, blessings. <laughs> Sir, ma'am, ma'am, sir, thank you. I'll take them both. It, it clears in Wells Fargo. Sir, ma'am, and ma'am, sir. Success. There's some angry birds out here, baby. Ooh. Hell no. They ain't reached out to give my deal yet. We, we in talks, but they ain't, they ain't hit me with that hammer. Cause, but I know it's coming. Oh, I'm look. I'm like Dave getting all this backlash, and he outside the community. At least I'm part of the community, you know, when they want me, and I can say what I want to say, and I'm going to for my one-hour special. Seeing you reminds me of. I'm fucking this bacon up.
Thank you, Shonda Aldrich, down in Mississippi. What part of Mississippi you in? M I crooked letter crooked letter I crooked letter crooked letter I hump back hump back I. Oh, they probably didn't have to cut anything, Vesper. He had that much juice. When you got when your name is big like that, you go in the editing room. You cut what you want to cut. Okay, so we got heavy rains moving in, y'all. I will do a show in Boston when Boston books me. I was supposed to be gone this past weekend, but no money. That's the song my heart is more because I woke up with joy. Are we going to talk about Alec Baldwin today, y'all? And that gun. And who dropped the ball on that? Because somebody was responsible for that. I'm already on Netflix, Angie. What's your name? Angie Urban. I'm on Netflix on the Tiffany Haddish Presents. They ready? Season one, I'm number two. T. William, you still love your fan. It's so sturdy. It is sturdy, and it will come fan you down. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got plenty of them now, too. Let me show you. I got a whole new box. Let me show y'all. Hold on. Let me show y'all. Look. I got a whole box of them. They just came. Uh huh. Y'all see my look. Y'all see my little house. Y'all see my little house. I'm at home. That's Timmy's bed. Look. Don't y'all see all these wonderful signs? I got kindness matters. Happiness is homemade. Uh huh. Live colorful. Live a colorful life. We like pictures. We like pictures, y'all. We like pictures. I ain't no damn rich or no famous, honey. Trust me, I am hustling. I ain't no rich or no famous. But I'm working. And that's what we like. I like to work. Oh, thank you, Denise. It's a, it's just a modest, it's a modest home, honey. It ain't nothing extravagant. I promise you. I ain't trying to live above my means. I'm trying to be able to eat, you know. And with the with the council culture, if you start living above your means and then you say something that they don't like, guess what? You can't you can't pay your means. So I live for what I can control. You can order a fan from um by cash app for me. It's twenty the fans are twenty five dollars and it's eleven or twelve dollars shipping a hand because I think it's eleven bucks. Unless you live in California, it's only eight dollars. But um my he cash app is he she we four. He she we four. Fans are twenty five bucks a piece. Now if you order two or three of them, it's only one shipping. But if you order one at a time, then it's different shippings. Uh -huh. But don't send me no cash app, but don't send me no address. Two people did that before. Don't send me no damn address. And then y'all know y'all names be different on cash app than what it is on social media. So I couldn't track down who sent me the damn money because I don't know what the name was. And then y'all want to have a conniption. Ooh, you didn't send me my fan. You didn't give me the bitch. The day I get hard up for $25, y'all let me know. Something happens, we have to go to arbitration. We can't go to court. And that's 
You know why I don't live? That's it, Dee Dee, before they won. They got my cash out right there. Thank you. You know why I don't live beyond my means? Y'all finna gag when I tell y'all this. Because I watched a movie, um, David Copperfield, with one of my favorite little young actors when I was a kid. His name is uh, Freddie Bartholomew. And the name of the movie is um, David Copperfield. And uh, what's, the, uh, what's the, uh, the comedian's name? My Little Chickadee, what's his name? W.C. Fields was in the movie. And W.C. Fields says, A happy life is make $20,000 $20, a year, budget 19000 a year, happiness. Make twenty make $20,000 a year, budget is $21,000 a year, unhappiness. And for a long time, I never knew what that meant until I got grown and tried to live above my means because you're always hustling and struggling trying to maintain to keep up with the Joneses. I ain't got to keep up with the Joneses. My name is Parker. Fuck the Joneses. I don't need my cash up on all my YouTube videos. Why? I ain't on here just to make money. I really am not on here just to make money. I know a lot of influencers on here to pay their rent and do whatever, but uh, I'm okay. Thank you. Plus, when I do put cash up for Love Lounge, when I think y'all should be tipping, y'all don't, so... Uh-huh. And it, it made me realize that when you're trying to live to showboat floss, you unhappy because you're always hustling, trying to keep up. But when you live right up under your means, you might have ten dollars left in your pocket. No stress. I take the no stress. You can keep the ten dollars. Watch the movie, y'all. See what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, thank you, White Mash Burn. Uh, thank you, Angie Irvin. You love my views. What is that, grits? Grits and fish, man. Grits and fish. See, you reminds me of all the nights I used to beat it up. I would do it again, but I can't. James Brown, give me your favorite child, please. <laughs> Thank you. That and that ain't even my philosophy. It's just something that I saw and I remember because it stuck with me. Plus, that's one of my one of my movies that I I love black and white movies. <laughs> you from Brandon, Mississippi? I ain't never heard of that. You love my realness. I'm just, I'm an American. I'm black. I'm transgender. I'm a comedian. I'm a dad. I got a whole lot of hats that I wear. It makes you more well-rounded to receive the whole world. Because if you label yourself as just one, this little, one little thing, that's all you know. I know everything. The name of that song I was just singing is David Hollister, One Woman Man. Oh yeah, thank you. You're welcome, Bridget. Thank you. Child, you know they making videos. They mad, but I looked at one this morning, and the panel was ooh, like ugh. Look at all of them. They ugh. That's what made me laugh. <laughs> oh my God! They said I wasn't funny. You have to buy a ticket. You have to buy a ticket in order to see how funny I really am. But if you don't buy a ticket, you'll never know. You never know. Cause you don't buy tickets. <laughs> oh no! November, December is booked. November, December, I got a lot of gigs. I'm we gonna I'm gonna get a Fantasia to help me make a a flyer with all my 
schedules and places I'm going because October was October. I had two gigs. I did one the other day when I came on live with the Burgundy Hero, and then I had one this weekend supposedly. But the one this weekend, they didn't send me my money in advance, and I didn't know them. And I don't care who you are. I ain't go. I don't play that game. You have to pay me because I don't know you, baby. I, 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 I'm like Aretha Franklin. Pay me. Pay me. I know Vesper. Ain't they shade? Hey, oh, they messy. And then, oh my God, but then they look a mess. I'm like, oh my God. I know I don't come on without my makeup on. Or come on without my uh with my I come on with my hat on, but good God, they oh my god, they don't even look clean. How you don't even look clean? Oof. And they want to use all these big words like you articulate, but your house looks nasty. That don't go together. You ordered your fan? Okay, uh, spiritually imperfect, imperfect. Okay. I'll look on the other phone. And then, you did you send me an address? Because I mailed it out today at the laughing line. Yeah, we talked about that last night on Laugh and Learn. I mean, on Love Lounge. Snoop Dogg's mom did pass. She was just 70. She was only 70 years old. And Snoop just had a birthday. So sad. So sad for Snoop. His mom was at the birthday party and everything. Yes, yeah, Spencer did pass. I knew Spencer. Spencer Connor from Chicago. I've been knowing Spencer since the Rays when he used to go with, with Mike and when he used to mess around with, uh, oh, what was the guy named? Uh, Quentin, who used to be the bartender at the Rays. Honey, I know that nigga for 30 years. Uh, thank you, Jackie Riley. Timmy, get out of here scrounging. Get out. This nigga think he a vacuum cleaner. He's just a Hoover. I'm going to change his name to Hoover. Yeah, I'm coming back to D.C. Uh, November the 30th. Uh, World AIDS Day is December the 1st. And November the 30th, AHF has hired me to host uh, some show they have in there in D.C. I'll give you the details when I get it. Uh, I'm gonna call that nigga Hoover because that nigga think he vacuum clean. He wanna suck up everything on the floor. And I don't even know on the floor. We swept this morning. So, Timmy got issue. I'm about to get this kids and child changed. I, can y'all believe that we almost been in this house a year? It seems like yesterday. We moved in here uh, December. Mm -hmm. So December to be a year I've been in this house. Thank you, Netflix. Thank you, Tiffany Haddish. Thank God first. Thank my flamettes, because y'all always come through. I don't know what I'm wearing, Josh. TT and Josh. I haven't even went up there and looked in no closet. I don't know what hair I'm wearing. I think I'm wearing that burgundy hair I had on the other day. Yes, I am a moon child. I am a cancer, and I do like a beautiful home. It ain't got to be the fanciest, but it needs to be beautiful. And I don't own it yet, but I'm working towards it. <clears throat> All the nights I used to be there, I would do it again, but I can't. Because everything is different now. I, I've i been in this house, Angie. This ain't no new house. We passed the honeymoon stage up in here. So yeah. Oh, the sea moss is working for you, Miss Fab. I told you, it got you together that first week, though, didn't it? Didn't I tell you there wasn't no poop? I ain't lied, did I? <laughs> I ain't lied, did I?
Mm -mm. I already know what that call is about. She's trying to get the car. Mm -mm. We're just ordinary people. I have thought about a acting spiritually imperfect. I'm signed up to start taking some acting classes. But I wish I would have been taking them during the pandemic, but we was all so scared. But, uh, yeah, I need to take some, because people always want me to pretend to be me. I'm like, I don't know how to pretend to be me. I just know how to be me. But ain't no excuses. If I want to do it, I just got to jump my fat ass in there and do it. Did y'all watch Insecure last night? Did y'all watch the premiere, the season premiere? That's my show, Insecure. I love Issa Rae. God, she has the biggest, most beautiful smile. You know who got megawatt smile? She does, and so does Sherry Shepard. Sherry Shepard got a big megawatt smile. Imani Bailey, you like your C-Moms too? Thank you, Great Matter. Your best friend's daughter just came out as transgender. Oh, okay. Good for her. I'm glad she found herself. Are you was cracking up. Oh, I love Insecure, uh, Vesper. I was catching up on a bunch of my old seasons because I, I had I had slipped on seasons three and four. Well, on seasons three. But I caught up last night. They had a marathon all weekend. So I was, this was an Insecure weekend. Uh, I've been to Escalita, the show that started at 2.30 in the damn morning. Good God. Don't nobody want to see Drag at 2.30 in the morning. We're just ordinary people. We don't know which way to go. Yeah. So y'all please join me today for Laugh and Learn at 1 o'clock. Um... For laugh and learn. And I'm telling you, we're going to have a conversation today. Y'all come be a part of it. Lauren will be at work today. I, I ain't been watching Dancing with the Stars. I like Dancing with the Stars, but I... <laughs> Look, <laughs> just hold it, Flame. Don't say it. Just hold it. <laughs> oh, my God. I do like the, uh, Tiana Taylor's husband, the tall basketball player. And I love Derek Huff. And my girl is back on there uh, who won the first couple of times with the legs. What was her name? But, oof, that MC, that host. Uh, I think they uploaded both of them today. I think they uploaded the old one today. Yeah, we talked about that this weekend in Tommy Depart Large Pad. Oh, what was the article about me on Snapchat, Anita? What they saying? What they saying? What they saying? Uh uh, Amelia ain't called me, baby. Miss Kenny still on there. I mean, Miss Kenny been dancing her butt off because Kenny still on there. Hi, Pammy Pam. Even though there is no independent party, we're just ordinary people. We don't know which way to go, yeah. And so they are worried about inflation, the fact that they're worried about the supply chain of coming in. Oh, Easter Ray is just, um, and let me tell you what I love about her the most. When the show goes off and the credits pop up, starring Easter Ray. Written by Issa Rae. Executive produced by Issa Rae. Bitch. That's the female Tyler Perry with them checks rolling up in there like that. She writes the stuff. She star in it. She produces it. She executive produces it. Baby. Oh, my CNN interview. Oh, okay. I had two. Oh, the one with... Which one? I had two CNN interviews. I had two CNN interviews at two separate, separate times, and you know, people making you know videos, YouTube videos about me, but that only reach them people, not CNN. And y'all mad? <laughs> Especially after. 
after the Trump era. So they're not really actually changing their opinion for their views on policy. This time we'll take it slow. Take it slow. Oh, oh, oh. 364 people, 258 viewers. I mean, 364 views, 258 likes. Come on, y'all. Uh-uh, I ain't saying nothing. I ain't saying no response to what? I ain't had no response. Response to what? I ain't saying shit. Sarah looks pretty today. Sarah Haynes looks pretty on the view today. We're just ordinary people. I know it don't seem like it's been a year, right? I only want to think about that it's been a year because that means I pay rent here at that price for a year. Good God. Woo. How much money is that? That could have been a deposit on the house, but I want to live in the house I want to be in. We got to do a show in the Bay Area. Um, when they book me. Now they are on him for using insults. Who oh, they on? I did like Ebony K. Williams on The View. I liked her. I only watched her for, I think, two days. But I liked her on there. I liked her the day she had on that yellow. Flame, have you always been so great with people? Uh-huh. I'm a people person. Type in capital letters. Uh, Lauren Hogan does my bookings. Go to he, she, we bookings with an S. He, she, we bookings at Gmail. One word. He, she, we bookings at Gmail. That's how you book me. We talked about the topics already. Okay, I'm going to uh, Instagram because I'm not in jail no more. Oh, thank you, Catherine. It was a blessing, that baby. I ain't think about it. And I ain't got to think about renting again until January. So look at God, look at God, and look at God. Miss Whoopi. 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 Would you do a guest host for Wendy's show? If they call me, but they ain't call me. Of course I would. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Okay, I'll see you guys on Instagram. Remember today, 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, 4 p.m. East Coast Time, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. We will be doing Love Lounge, I mean Laugh and Learn, right here on IG, where this is YouTube, but we'll be on IG at, at, on my Instagram page at Monroe Flame. I cannot get my words out this morning. I don't know where my man is at. At Monroe Flame. Oh, you got your fans, Marie? Oh, great. You put a collage on Instagram. Okay, yeah, tag me in it so I can see it. I'm glad you got them. Okay, you guys, I will see you all on Instagram in the next two or three minutes. Don't meet me there. Beat me there. Peace. Oh, the word for today, the key word for today is success. I'm sorry some of you all are not having the success that you want, but be kind because you are smart. You are kind. You are just unimportant. Hmm. Peace.